Good morning, Confetti Club. It is Pixie. This is Jill. I just wanted to film a comprehensive vlog clip because I've been editing this vlog up and it's super fun, but I want to give you guys more of a actual narrative explanation of what's going on so it makes more sense. You guys know we've been talking for a good while, um, since probably a year ago, about a year ago, we've been talking about wanting to get into drag, practicing our makeup, and looking to eventually actually perform on a stage. And for Pride this year, our local scene is having a show for like all fresh newbies that have never done drag before. Um, and me and two of my real life besties all got into the show. I think there's like six newbie drag performers and we are three of them. Um, and we're all doing two numbers. Um, and it's our debut for all of us. Obviously the show's for people doing it for the first time. So we are really, really, really excited. Um, a bunch of stuff in this vlog is preparing for the show. It's going to be Villainy Swells, our drag persona this first time. And then later on down the line, I'll eventually start honing my pixie daydreams persona. But I really wanna give Jer an opportunity to to uh, self-express. So yeah, really, really exciting times. I haven't felt this excited since like convention days. I was saying the cosplay performance to Drag Queen Pipeline is, can be very swift and quick, especially if you are a queer person who like kind of dresses weird on the daily anyway. There's lots of fun little planning activities. My friend does a dance. Like there, this vlog's cute. Hold on, hold on. Okay, grab a snack. Today, I'm actually literally about to head out to therapy in like 20 minutes. I literally did makeup because I'm doing EMDR. And I'm like, if someone's gonna be staring at my eyeballs move for a while, I may as well give them something to, you know, something to look at. That's so funny. I just hope I don't cry at all off this time. It's fine. Oh, I also, I wanted to show you a fun little thing because it didn't fit anywhere else to the vlog and it's fun. Okay, I wanna clarify first that this was not my original idea. I got this idea from Acrylic and Ether, uh, who are on YouTube as well as TikTok. But basically, okay, crochet moment, crochet moment. Do you guys know those blankets? They're called like temperature blankets or weather blankets. And it's when like every day of the year, you check the weather outside or the temperature or whatever, and you crochet one stitch along a blanket and then at the end of the year or however long you have like a beautiful array that shows the year or whatever um and acrylic and ether i think it was um ether system was making one for their altar switches so i was like that's adorable that's sweet that's cute and i have to get on that so full creds to them for the idea but look at it come along so it was driving me a little bit bonkers that um, it's not in rainbow order because if you guys know me, absolutely everything has to be Roy G. Biff or I will like, I will, a spring will pop out of my brain like Patrick Starr. So I decided to soothe my little brain. I'm doing little tassels that are in rainbow order on the end of all the colors that are in it. Oh, it's so joyous. Obviously not done yet, but I just wanted to share this because it makes me so happy. Also, I was thinking you could do this if you don't have DID, but if you just have like large mood swings or if you're just a, a person, a, a non-mentally ill person who just wants to make a blanket, you can also just track your moods. It's officially at the point where it's like super cozy and like when I crochet on it, it's snuggly. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Okay, back to Pixies from the other day. I love you, enjoy the vlog. We have acquired some new plant friends that we are actually taking really good care of. We are on a mission to keep them alive for as long as possible. And three of them, or I think, yeah, three of them are succulents, so they need to be watered from the bottom. Um, and I was looking everywhere because I had a little tray thing like this before, and I was looking everywhere for it. I think it got rusted and we had to throw it out. So I found one just like it, and I'm going to paint it yellow along with one of these little pots because one of them still has to be repotted. So I'm going to go paint these yellow and then wait a good probably day or so before I actually put the planty in there. I don't want him to get freaking paint toxined. That would be tragic. Can we do a before and after? Ta-da! Did that work? Oh, it looks so much happier. It looks so, so, so much happier. Um, yeah, he needs more soil. Um, 
but they're so pleasant. We've been using um, this rosemary a lot for cooking and stuff. Oh, cute, 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 cute. This one, it said burrito plant. I think it's also called burrow's tail. He definitely needs more soil in there, but um, I know he looks like he's leaning, but that's because um, they kind of drape over the sides. Maybe I'll put a picture in of one that's further along, but I wanted to just get the little babies. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Confetti Club. It is Pixie. Um, it's been Jill and Flora mostly. Pretty co-con today. I'm gonna be filming a couple of days. There's several um, super exciting things going on this week. Um, very cute uh, friend hangout happening together. Spring has sprung very suddenly here it is warm you can see our forehead is perspirating just a little bit um it is really warm and beautiful out um i'm by my window now and there's a soft little breeze last week um was quite stressful and we've been going through um some big changes and adaptations and some big news um so we've been really really extra switchy it's been um quite the little merry-go-round going um in our heads so hope you don't mind that um there will be parts other than just jill around and um yeah we have a couple crafty things going on tonight i think jer wanted to come out tonight to uh oversee our progress uh dyeing the fabric and stuff for his first drag number I'm going to be trying to dye some synthetic material for the first time um in our lives we have only ever dyed cotton um and natural fibers which are much easier to dye but we have some synthetic dye so um should go all right definitely going to be leaning on jill's expertise we did redo our hair which is really, really exciting. I filmed a teeny tiny little clip of it with the dye on just cause I don't know, I always find that really satisfying. So it's very happy and freshly dyed and that just makes me really happy. Are you guys sweet? Are you guys besties? Are you guys sweet besties? Oh yeah. Hello, hello! We are just outside of the fabric store and I'm gonna go in, have to find um, some swatches that I'm going to scan in um, and give my cousin some options for their wedding commission. Um, and we're also gonna pick up some muslin to do some drag book ups. It's mostly Flora um, and Cliff is around, but definitely Flora piloting the body right now. So um, really excited to go in, love Fabricville. Everyone's really sweet there. And um, it's been a while since um, we've gone in to get much fabric new for anything. We've thrifted some material, but um, yeah, really, really excited. And um, wee. Success, I didn't film at all while I was in there, but we got uh, a gray plaid, a very light gray plaid of stretch suiting that was in the clearance section. Um, so kind of sort of like dead stock, like stuff they just need to get rid of. It's no longer in season for super cheap and it's synthetic. So we're going to try our very first time ever trying to dye synthetic. So I have two synthetic dyes here, uh, a green and a yellow. I'm gonna try and get the perfect lime and I'm going to attempt to um, help Jer live out his lime green bondage pant dreams. Yay, it feels really good to be out. It's so beautiful out. The sun is shining so nicely. There's like not a cloud in the sky at all. Um, and there seems to be something really exciting in town happening. It's just so nice. Everyone's out walking around, um, kids and adults and dogs. And I was gonna say cats, not cats, I wish. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head over uh, to the pet store, pick up the cats, some chop chops, some chomp chomps. <laughs> I can definitely feel Jill around if you can't hear her. Okay, time to get the cats their supper. This is the stuff. I think it will take the dye, hopefully. We cut it in half. Okay, so I dumped the whole yellow one in there. And I'm gonna just like God, I don't know, a, a splash. Oh God. <laughs> I 
I wet my fabric beforehand. You gotta make sure you do that. We didn't do that once and the fabric came out like tie-dye. You gotta wash it and then you gotta wet it separately. Wash it, dry it, and then wet it again. Oh, here I have a swatch. You can see like the color dripping off there. Oh my God, I'm so shaky. I'm <laughs> so shaky, I need to eat. Yeah, okay, I like that. Ideally, you would keep this on the stovetop and you would keep it boiling at the same temperature, but um, I don't want to use a pot for dye. I would rather use the stainless steel sink. I don't know. I hope this does anything. It's definitely doing something. Oh, f yeah. Oh, f yeah. And I'm really happy with the, the lime percentage. For a second, I panicked and I almost yanked it out, added more green, and then put it back in. But no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is doing something. I'm boiling some more water because it's not quite covered. Um, I hope that won't fuck everything up, but I think it'll be okay. I've been stirring very, 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 very consistently because I don't want to fuck this up. But it was also on clearance for like six bucks a meter, so... This is for sure, for sure my favorite day out of the week and for sure my favorite part of the vlog. Three AFAB non-binary pals all preparing for their first drag gig ever. Um, they brought over lots of like makeup and M here is showing me some amazing dance routine progress. Um, I had my wig out. I was watching lots of James Mansfield videos. Oh my gosh. The number of wig tutorials on that channel, it is just like an hour absolute bible it was so 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 much fun bringing sketches and everyone comparing their sketches and their plans and their progress and hyping each other up and just being really really like sweet drag siblings it's wonderful I spent uh, an embarrassing amount of time unlacing and relacing these boots that I thrifted. God, I thrifted these for $25, which is like very expensive for secondhand shoes that like a corporation got for free, but whatever. Oftentimes, yeah, dodging fast fashion is even more expensive, even when you're thrifting anyway. And this is just some lime green cord that I picked up at the fabric store earlier in the vlog, Miss Flora and Cliff and I. It was just a wonderful day. I didn't want to share too much of my other friends. I didn't want to like be shoving a camera in their face because we're all just practicing and it's our debut and like, you know, friends and friends are a little more you know, shy or private. I just I didn't want to be shoving a camera in their face. So if anyone's like, why are you only focusing on yourself? I do not want to paparazzi my pals before they're ready. <laughs> okay, also update on the fabric. So I have it here folded up right next to the original gray and this is really, really heartbreaking. I have a before before and after, I'll do an official update here. This is the fabric when it was still a little damp, uh, freshly rinsed, so it's fully rinsed. Um, the dye is out of it, um, but it was still a little bit damp, but it's really like a much more pungent, strong green. It's still a little bit like olive. It's not super lime, but you know, it's, it's on the right track. I was very happy with this. Everyone was very pleased. And then we had the bright idea to put it through the dryer, even on the lowest setting. I made sure it was on the lowest and shortest setting and it just zapped it out and now it's like sad pea beige. So we're gonna try again. I'm going to go and thrift a pot from the thrift store so we can maintain the high heat on the stovetop like it says to on the dye thing. Anyway, that's your update on the plaid. I hope this is an interesting vlog. is Jill. Tonight I'm going to get all up in drag and I'm going to try and shoot some promo photos uh, for the show that we're doing because I just went to go fill in the form thingy in the email um, and they were asking for promo photos and I was like 
I really, really, really want um, proper photos of our full villainy form. We have some cool photos of like Jer with his makeup all done, but um, not in like full, full, full drag. So we're gonna do that tonight. We're going to shoot um, and hopefully get Stevie to help us a little bit and just shoot some promo pics in our little tiny studio in our house. So that'll be sweet and fun. Um, yesterday we had an amazing hangout, which was so, 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 so fun. Um, me and my two other sweet besties who got into the same gig. I will do another narration for that whole situation. But um, I finally decided what my second song's gonna be. We're doing two numbers each, two numbers each. Oh my god, I'm so 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 excited. So I finally decided um, that my second song is going to be an MCR song. Maybe I don't want to spoil it yet, um, but it is a My Chemical Romance song. And then there was a new freaking My Chemical Romance song that literally came out yesterday. Last night. Oh, the, it was so... The world is full of surprises. It is six minutes long. I filmed a reaction and I tried to post it to TikTok, but it, it, it got copyright stricken, which is very fair. Very fair. I took it down. I was like, no, you're right. I don't know how TikTok works. Anyway, I love you so much. I'm gonna go run some errands, come back, get in drag, and... Flashing lights warning for this next bit. It's my camera flash going off a couple times. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this vlog. I hope it was interesting. It was pretty much all about preparing for the drag gig, which is now in a little bit less than a month. Oh my God, please pray for us. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.